So it's been absolutely ages since our last update, but I said at the beginning of this project, it's probably going to take us ages. Leo's just got back from six months in Australia, so the whole project didn't take a break. Um, I've been doing little bits and pieces. I've mainly been sorting out all the clutch release bearing stuff. Um, I needed some tiny little clips for the release bearing, which were worn out on our old one, and you can only get them with a new release bearing. So um, I went on the Club 8090 website and some really nice person sent me some. So thank you to Morsey, I think that was, uh, for those. So we've now fitted them. Leo's back and we're just sorting all the clutch release arm. We're just putting all the new bushes and stuff in it. Um, ready to put the engine in today, hopefully. We'll get the clutch on the engine and get it in. Um, also, I've been distracted a little bit by a new addition to the workshop. <laughs> um, me and a friend have bought this Toyota Hyatt, no, uh, Toyota Town Ace, it's called, um, for the grand sum of £160. Um, it needs a little bit of welding on the uh, passenger wheel arch, which I've done. Uh, I think that's all it will need for the MOT. Um, and the headlights are out because the um, door hinges had dropped and to get to the hinges I needed to take the bumper off which meant I needed to take the lights out so that's why it looks like that just to do the door hinges but yeah I've been a little bit sidetracked on that one uh, should be a cool little van once it's going it's, wow. a, it's an eight-seater um, so yeah hopefully Leo's just uh, it's got a lot less wobble now there we go clutch release assembly done we've got the uh, a Subaru adapter plate on there and the new clips so the next stage is to get the clutch together on the engine and drop it in so we've got the new clutch on that's Subaru clutch Subaru um, clutch pressure plate um, because we've got the Subaru input shaft and we're just about to put the engine in and mate it up. After a bit of jiggery-pokery and a little bit of wiggling and drilling, we now have a Subaru engine mounted in our van. Um, it all lined up all right. It pulled up to the bell housing, fine. No problems really, bit of wiggling on the engine crane and altering the angle of the gearbox. Um, but no, it's all in fine. We've drilled the holes. Uh, it's probably better around this side. Drilled the hole um, for the engine mount. I don't know if that's going to focus. There we go. So that's the new holes that go on the chassis rails. Um, and, if I, and that's the engine mount bar. Completely taking the weight of the engine. You see the uh, exhaust sits quite low and the sump actually sits quite low, uh, which a lot of people say about. We don't really go off-roading, but I guess that it could be a problem if we have to go up farm tracks and stuff. Um, we'll so we, uh, I think we're going to run with it. And if we come into problems, then we'll have to deal with it. But um, we generally stay on the flat really but yeah it's bolted in <laughs> so now it begins the tough job of all the lovely wiring <laughs> 